subscribe and stay by the title of the video you guys can see that this is going to be a 10 things i cannot live without video i saw someone do this and i keep seeing it on what is that magazine gq and i think it's so interesting when people can't live without and i was like i wonder what are my 10 things i can't live without so i went ahead and made a list on my phone of 10 things i feel like i absolutely cannot live without are they realistic no don't expect this to be a video where it's like food water no these are things that i literally use either in everyday life can't go too long without it's a part of my routine things like that so that is what we'll be including in this video excuse my background i know it's a lot but my Ring light is always broken, as you guys know, so we love that. Okay, and without further ado, we're going to get into the things. I'm going to talk a little bit about each item so that you can understand where I'm coming from. But basically, if you don't already know me, you're about to get to know me a whole lot better. So, for number one, I have, I think I've talked about this in some of my makeup videos, but this lip gloss changed my life, and I feel like such a bougie B-I-C-C-H, because this is not a cheap lip gloss, and I continue to buy it. I basically have a bunch of these and I'm always buying them. I cannot get enough and they're half of these are empty. So basically my favorite lip gloss in the whole world is Dior's. Dior's lip maximizers, Dior lip oils, Dior lip, Dior addicts, whatever they're called, the stellar glosses. These make my entire look. They're the reason why I got into liking glosses. If you knew me before when I used to wear makeup maybe like a year or two. I would say maybe about two years ago when I first started working at Sephora. Because the first time I ever the first time I ever tried this was when I got it in gratis at Sephora when I worked there. When I got this, basically glossy lips were my new favorite thing and I don't have a glossy lip on right now. But let's just say for instance I wanted to gloss this look up. It would look bomb with these. This one looks like a baby pink but it's actually pretty clear. I like most of their clearish ones. I like their ones that have like a little bit of tint. I've never tried their actual color ones. This one has a little bit of color, but it's still a nude. But they just go on so perfect. They last so long. They're not sticky. They're not watery. They're not too gooey. I just cannot live without the Dior Lip Maximizers, especially the Maximizers. These are all like 30 something dollars each. It's almost $200 worth of lip products and it's only six of them so speaks for itself i don't these last me a long time though i'm not gonna lie because i don't wear them every day the only ones that i wear every day are the lip oils which is why i have three of these and they're all very low because these are great to just throw on right before bed if you're not wearing makeup number two you guys you guys quarantine I, this is probably the best thing to come out of quarantine for me other than me doing youtube more basically around like i would say i don't know like june i downloaded this app on my phone and it changed my entire life and i'm not being dramatic this is my favorite app in the whole world i could spend hours on this app it's beat out instagram snapchat sometimes even youtube it's just everything but you guys tiktok <laughs> I have learned so much. If you want, I'm going to link the video of me doing my makeup looks that my friends drew me. Me and my sister had a whole like minute long conversation about how TikTok has literally changed our lives. You learn from TikTok. Literally everything from cooking to protecting your surroundings to makeup to hacks, life hacks, money hacks. It's brilliant. It's brilliant and I'm so glad that it still exists and that I'm still on here. But make sure you follow me on TikTok. It's at It's Leak Leak. And I have 7,000 followers right now. I want to reach 10 by the end of the year. I know that sounds crazy, but you actually grow pretty fast on TikTok. Which is another thing that I love. I go down my For You page, which is kind of like an explore page on Instagram if you don't know what that is. And I see people with one follower, two followers, a million followers. You get to see everyone. Their algorithm is so perfect to where like anyone can end up on there if you use the right hashtags, which I like because I feel like if you use hashtags on Instagram and stuff, people judge you like you're trying to do the most or whatever. But on TikTok, the growth is so easy and it's such a good community that everyone just genuinely supports everyone and it's not weird you can post whatever you want you can go viral off of whatever you want my two videos that have a million views are me shaving my legs because people like to watch me shave my legs which i will get into that later when i mention another product and number three is kind of random but i was like okay clothing wise what's something that i really can't live without and it might surprise you guys because i'm anemic i'm anemic first of all so i should always be cold but i actually really hate clothes i like to sleep 
pretty much with nothing on or shorts and like a crop top. I hate to wear clothes. I hate to wear jeans for too long. I like to get dressed and look cute, but like in terms of like longevity for hours have passed, I don't want to have clothes on. So I was like, what's a clothing item that I cannot live without? And the answer is slides. I wear slides so much. These are my Gucci slides. This is just an example. But slides are probably my favorite thing I would have to say. I wear slides with everything, with dresses, with jeans, with sweats, with shorts. I'm not a Crocs person. I never have been. But slides are just that itch. My Ugg slides, I wore those into the ground. I need new ones because Kendrick bought me those for my birthday and that was only like six or seven months ago. I've I don't know math I can't do it right now because I'm talking and thinking at the same time but I got those slides for my birthday in May and I have worn those out they used to be such a pretty pink and now I just like I wore them all the time because they're so comfortable there's just something about slides like if I had to pick one pair of shoes to wear for the rest of my life it would definitely be slides it would be my Gucci slides or my Ugg slides I don't like my feet being too constricted for too long so like having my toes out now number four we're gonna go back to kind of the TikTok thing now what I went viral off of TikTok for a couple months ago was me shaving my legs using a product that I had seen like a few times on TikTok and then once I used it it kind of blew up I hate to sound cocky, I hate to sound cocky, but I really feel like my TikTok really put Tree Hut on the map. And if you've never heard of Tree Hut, you're literally living under a hut. This is the most recent one that I bought, so it's not like my favorite. But it's not like my favorite, but it's the one that I have on deck, my newest one that I haven't opened. The rest of them are like in my shower or in my bathroom. But the Tree Hut sugar scrubs, baby. I'm going to probably do like a hygiene routine video because people love like watching me shower on TikTok, well not my actual body, but like watching me shave my legs or the products that I use in the shower, people are always interested in them and I love sharing them because I'm constantly changing my shower routine. But one thing that I have stuck with are these scrubs. I scrub my entire body every single day. I exfoliate because I have very dry skin and I feel like it just gives me so much hydration. These are amazing. They leave your skin so soft and I'm so excited to try this one. This is actually the coffee one. The mocha and coffee bean firming. And I'm about to try this on my butt because I need my butt to be firm and it has actual coffee beans in it so I'm excited to try this one my favorite one is probably the vitamin c one just because it's good for brightening and it just has a very very mild smell it's a pretty color probably make a video if you guys want about my favorite tree hut scrubs or go more in depth about why I like them or maybe do like a shower video let me know I will do that for you guys if you guys want but let me know if you want that because I will do that if you want me to I just recently tried the shave oil and oh my it is so good and that TikTok did very well as well. Like I said, follow me on TikTok and I talk about these and show these all the time. Like the proof is in the video, trust me, but I cannot live without these. I take these with me when I travel. I know it probably sounds excessive to exfoliate every single day, but I literally exfoliate from my neck all the way down to the bottom of my feet every single day and my skin is so soft and like my hair doesn't grow back as fast because I'm constantly exfoliating that dead skin off of my body like it's just a lifesaver so if you have dry skin if you just don't want your hair to go back as fast if you just want to change your entire shower routine with your body in general I would highly suggest trying out a scrub this one in particular is so inexpensive it's like six dollars at Ulta or Target or Walmart it's had a whole bunch of drug stores but the only two stores that I've ever bought it from are Target and Ulta that's true forever I have yet to run out of any of them and I've been purchasing one like every month since June so I have yet to run out of any of these you don't need a lot and I just highly recommend them <laughs> number four is again gonna sound like something that, that is a want but not a need but that is the whole point of this video I cannot go too long without getting my nails and my feet done my sister was just telling me the other day how guys have their playstations and all that stuff and girls like have their nails I feel like that's a great comparison because like their ps4 or 5 or whatever genuinely makes them happy at the end of the day to come home and play that game getting my nails done is my self-care like it sounds I don't care how it sounds but like getting my nails done sitting down getting them done like thinking about ideas that I want to get done having them on is my favorite thing I love especially getting my toes done getting a pedicure I love when my feet are done that's my biggest pet peeve is when my feet are not done I could care less about my nails because they're just my hands and I feel like I could always do something about that but I need to get my toes done like every two three weeks they're white right now they're always white I'm one of those girls yes because I'm very very picky about colors that I like. like if I was stuck on a desert island I would bring my nail tech with me because I want my nails to be done it makes me happy to see them I just it's a whole new me it's a whole new world like Aladdin told Jasmine by the way I know I'm not wearing earrings or my necklace my butterfly chain broke it's broke about four times now which 
leads into the next one, which number six. Anything butterfly. You guys know I love butterflies. I call you guys my butterflies. Butterfly originates from my boyfriend calling me butterfly. For all of you that don't know, it's basically what my boyfriend's nickname for me is, butterfly. He called me that one day and I was just like, wow. Like, and I just fell in love with butterflies. Like I have butterfly hair clips. I got one for the video. Basically, anything butterfly I'm gonna buy, whether it's a phone case, a piece of clothing, jewelry, I love butterfly everything. I got it tatted on me. So if that doesn't say anything, I don't know what will. By the way, I want to get more and bring it up to my neck because I've always wanted a neck tattoo, but I can't because I work at the bank right now. But I'm gonna get my butterflies gone, going up, wanting to get a trail up to my neck. People will still to this day DM me stuff like this, reminding me of you, this, you should get this. And I'm like, I love that. I am associated with butterflies because they truly are like my favorite thing in the whole world. They should have been number one. I don't know why I thought of them. The order is not right. You can't even see the little symbol right now because it's wet. But Starbucks or coffee is my number seven. I don't care if I have six dollars to my name. I'm getting me a venti ice white mocha with soy milk, pumpkin sweet cream foam, all of that I'm getting. Because coffee aka Starbucks, I know you don't have... So getting Starbucks every day isn't realistic even though I do it sometimes Monday through Friday at work because it's right next door to my job so coffee I'm addicted to I need coffee I literally I can't even talk I'm so excited I literally get headaches when I don't drink coffee and I realized this like a couple weeks ago like I had a headache and didn't know why I had coffee and felt better so I get migraines when I don't have coffee the caffeine does something to me Starbucks and coffee I cannot live without coffee I cannot I wake up in the morning and I need coffee every single day that cabinet downstairs stays stocked with donut shop coffee I love it medium roast and then I get oat milk creamer and I will f that up <laughs> me and my sister I talk about her too much she needs to be on this list I can't live without my sis let's let's be honest itching uh it might be because this, I got my birth control, I switched birth control methods, so I got that taken out, and this whole part of my arm has been itching. But it's nowhere near this, but, my sister. Anyways, we always say what we will F up, and I will F up some coffee. Number eight, my hair products. Now, I used to straighten my hair all the time all the time never ever cared about when it was curly but as of late my obsession with like my curly hair products making sure that my hair is dyed black freshly if I ever had to sleep over somebody's house I damn near don't if I don't have my hair products basically if I don't have my stuff my scrub my hair products that's why I pack so much because I genuinely have stuff that I need with me at all times if I'm gonna shower I don't care I'll just hopping in the shower and getting out I need my stuff with me this I want to show because this right here this, I would say, doesn't matter if you have curly hair, thick hair, what? This Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask, when I tell you I put this in my hair, let it sit for about 30 minutes, take it out, my hair feels like a baby's bottom. I'm literally not kidding, I need another one because it's gone. It's a whirly white, but like it's gone. This isn't enough for me to use. I love this mask, I do, but my curly hair products I can't live without because I'm on a healthy hair journey. And honey, we can't just be going to sleep and waking up or brushing our hair out and calling it a day like Kendrick told me to do in that video, which I will link. If you want to see Kendrick do my hair with literally just a brush and think that it was okay, I will link that down below and you go see that because it was not okay. <laughs> Number nine, we are on to, this one's kind of cute. I think a lot of girls could agree with me. A lot of people could agree with me on this one, but I would say I cannot live without candles. I love candles. I have one right here. I have another one over there, but I need to go back for the Christmas sale. This one is Cinnamon Caramel Squirrel. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. But basically me and my sister went too late. There weren't any more Christmas candles because we both love the balsam, the tree smelling one. They have a cookie one. They have, oh, we missed all of them. Today is the last day and we both didn't go. So I'm going to have to wait till after Christmas. I love candles. I think that they're such a cute addition to homes. I love candles more than I love like Febreze or like the little air fresheners that you put in the wall. I think these are the best for making your home smell good and just feeling like a home, feeling real cozy. All right, and for the final 10th thing, I am gonna have to say makeup. I know it sounds crazy, but like the creativity, the joy that I get out of makeup, I say this a lot in person, but I don't have, think I've ever said it on my YouTube channel. And it probably sounds really bad, but I really don't have a talent. Like, I can't sing, I can't act, um, I can dance, like, at a party, you feel me? But I can't, like, get, 
I can't dance like that. Like, I'm not a professional. I'm not good at sports, but my thing that I'm good at is makeup. Probably with makeup, I never miss. I say that all the time. But, like, makeup, I can't live without because it's my way to be creative. It's my therapy. Sitting down doing my makeup is literally my therapy. I know that little time where I'm literally just quiet doing my makeup, listening to music is literally therapy for me, which is why I'm sad that I don't do it as much. And it makes me feel so much better when I actually do. But makeup, for sure, because makeup has always been my first love. What I enjoy doing, my talent, my hobby, my happy place for sure is sitting down. And my vanity is my happy place for sure. Makeup changed my life and not to the point where it's like I'm a catfish, like that type of thing. But like my introduction to makeup literally made me a different person, made me happier, made me more confident, made me confident to the point where like I did makeup so good. Now I feel fine without it. Like I know that I'm beautiful with and without makeup. I can say that fully and mean it and makeup has just it's introduced me to youtube it's introduced me to tiktok makeup and seeing other girls that love makeup learning about the history of products what goes into the makeup industry the makeup business the makeup selling the marketing of makeup all of that really intrigues me and i love it and it would really be my dream one day to you know make my own like makeup cosmetic line or anything like that have my own business i would love that but if i ever do it i'm gonna do it right so that means i would have to be like a millionaire like i'm not even kidding i want my makeup line to be the most perfect thing in the whole world and i would never half ass it so just know if you ever seen one of the makeup line my all was put into that because that is literally my dream aside from being a victoria's secret model there's my victoria's secret robe <sighs> i love me some pink too that could have been on there but victoria's secret I love that too but anyways Victoria's Secret model in terms of like my dream 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 jobs like up here Victoria's Secret model and a makeup brand owner but I feel like I've been talking forever and I don't want this video to go on too long if you enjoyed it make sure you thumbs up this video comment down below and subscribe for some more leak in your life let me know what you can't live without if did you agree with anything that I said what you thought was surprising about me if you want more videos like this about different things like maybe my top 10 favorite hygiene products my top 10 makeup products let me know I would love to do that for you guys I love to sit down and talk those are kind of like my favorite videos to do which is why I'm slowly becoming a vlogger which is crazy I love you guys so 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 much and I will see you guys in the next one Bye! Love you butterflies! <laughs>